your light and hope is here. <clears throat> Part of uh, the mission statement that I had per my staying in my realm, my heavenly teachings coming from my heavenly father through me, who is, of course, me. So looking at your situation, <clears throat> I'm the only one that walks around in the flesh that people get angry if I talk about myself in the first person and they believe I'm only going to talk about myself in the third person. Jesus doesn't like this. Jesus doesn't like that. When you came to me, there was a situation. So we'll use this same situation here. <clears throat> now, what this actually did, while it may have seemed unpleasant, like a situation in your life, some may have said, Lord, I had this set up and you made me. Now I need this. Now this is happening. If you're walking with me, then yesterday you received a huge confirmation. It was my pleasure and honor to bless you. It brings my heart joy to get the confirmation that my gifts and extravagant love for you have been displayed exactly how I wanted it done. Please ensure that you encourage the person I utilized. Now, when I speak to someone and they say, prove your Jesus, what did I eat last night? You didn't eat. Might be a response that I give. Okay, now I know you're not Jesus. Others would say, no, you have an issue. I understand what he's saying. <clears throat> I've come home. He has food that you know nothing about. He's talking about something that... So understand, many have been... When we are looking at the kingdom of heaven and my remnant and we use my house as an example these are my chambers these are the king's chambers Mary my house spans across the entire earth and you have that perception me and Mary came to an agreement of how we would be living I would be able to minister and pursue my calling be with my Heavenly Father as much as possible. And if that's not your idea of heaven, this may not be the life for you, is what I would tell many. Mary's been out of the loop for upwards of 10 years. So the first thing I'm doing for you is making sure your kingdom spouse understands that was God. That had to come from God. Only God could have done that. And that you have the spirit of truth that leads us into all things. The second part I'm teaching you right now, <clears throat> when you have trust, that's one aspect that leads to a huge part of your kingdom marriage. And that was personified and confirmed in your experience, but also through the words you said to each other. Were they love-filled, encouraging words? Were they my words? Were they full of life? So understanding your goals. Now, your goal is a loving, happy, 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 but happening, 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 as sure as there's a wedding venue not far from me, as sure as I've moved my wife's throne next to mine, 
I'm not hopping all over the place. I'm just saying the words my Heavenly Father gives me. I glorify my Heavenly Father. He glorifies me. Making sure that your spouse was not cut off gives them their path if they have fallen, and many have fallen, back to our side. My Heavenly Father let me sweep and mop and clean up yesterday, so I'm pretty excited about that. But this entire situation was already set up because I built our life on the rock, Mary. I have to go outside and stand someplace for a minute, but <clears throat> oftentimes the walk comes with inconvenience. Making sure that you have truth is the first part to our happy marriage. And I am very deliberate and relentless to restore this connection. Once I've given you the plan, then if you are available, available, available during the day, Then I give you, okay, now do this. Now go here. If I taught you that ignoring me equals the blessings of heaven on your terms, they would not be blessings from heaven. It would be you commanding the potter. You would not feel loved. You would feel like you have more power than the potter. This is confirming that to you. Yeah. <clears throat> when you have the power of God as I do, it's not something that you can understand. It's not for you to understand. It's for you to experience and appreciate that this power that is greater than you, loves and cherishes you. What I'm trying to teach my kingdom spouses is so much. One, if you're dealing with this situation, don't. I will lift you out of it higher than it with my mighty right hand. Two, the blessings of God aren't just one power packed. Here's the blessing. It's expansive and it takes care of all of your needs. It satisfies you in all ways. The true hope that the modern church cannot provide right now and will never again. There is no light in it. When you experience true light, in my kingdom, my remnant, and you see that it does start with your kingdom marriage, and more importantly, inside of you, as I said in the gospel, the kingdom of heaven is within you. Everything we have here is the exact opposite of where our marriage started. Now, when you are Understanding the old has passed away and you are putting on the new man. And you have somebody that understands these heavenly things from the perspective because they have the proper perspective. The truth is going to win out every single time. So your first blessing is your understanding, wait, God is really, this is really God. This is really God. This is really God. From there, you have accepted your Messiah. The scripture says you inherited eternal life. I paid For your eternal life. When you 
have an appreciation of that and you see what you're going through right now is just a little teaspoon of what I have been through for you to even be standing here right now after you called upon the name of the Lord and was saved from the judgment And my wife was saying, you've only done this. You lied about this. You lied about this. One is our communication hasn't been too effective to her for obvious reasons. And two, I go out of my way and put myself in these situations so that I have the testimony and you see that I am with you. Many received confirmation yesterday. It doesn't get any clearer or better. Everything this man who is not a man, merely not a man at all, but spirit, was saying is the truth. And when you have the truth as the head of your household in your marriage, you are not cut off. And you have the evidence. And it shows in your spirit and your conduct. So part of this I've wanted those that fell back. So you, in your kingdom marriage, following my commands, are accomplishing everything the modern church could not. Of course, I value my remnant more, my bride. Now, as your king, Mary, all I have wanted was you. When you're not settling for a lot of thought processes, I felt, because I can perceive your thoughts yesterday and have always known because we've been doing this over two and a half years now before we really started uh, the Armageddon final parts of the recognition there is a dragon and yes it does attack our marriages and other places in our life our finances our reputations all the false accusations we've endured, all of the lies. And you understand, well, for Mary specifically, a lying spirit she had. She had the counterfeit Holy Spirit, the uh, familiar spirit, spirit of falseness. But all of this had built up the narrative of her truth versus the truth, Mary. Utilizing all of this, whatever the next step is to rectify this little situation will come as it is supposed to. I will ensure it and knowing the beginning from the end, I already know exactly what it should be and will be. Have that same confidence when I'm directing you. That may not be the path that's going to get you what I told you. The abundant life, life to the full, even more is coming. And there's a huge coming together of all of it, culminating as we speak for you. Be excited, I am. The Spirit is excited for you. You being a part of this 
is part of your reward. I'm not going to get into the negative connotations of Revelation 21, but that has come to pass in my wife's life. The scripture is the wall in the new Jerusalem. Those walls, they say they have uh, the names of 12 tribes of Israel. The scripture dictates how those walls remain rigid as I will rule with an iron rod, per Isaiah. But <sighs> reflect the scripture that is pertinent to your relationship with me. Now, as many have come back to my side, you have the evidence of what you've been through. You need to be looking at it that was demonic, though it seemed to have the semblance of righteousness, it denied its power. There is no middle ground for, well, it was kind of like God. It was kind of like Jesus. It wasn't. Not only because I said I am doing a new thing, and I have done this new thing, I love you.